Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to look at um, removing the bed from the uh, uh, Chinese laser printer, the eBay Chinese laser printer. So um, I've already disassembled everything, so I'm just going to kind of walk through the steps. It's not that difficult. However, I thought I would show kind of what it looks like and explain a little bit of the logic of what we're doing. So one of the first things is this insert, this crappy little insert, which um, I talked before in another video has, has is pretty restricted because uh, one of the things, the springs limit how far this goes. So this is really your cutting area, your intended cutting area, uh, which is just ridiculous. So it's just kind of wasteful that it's that small. And basically what this does is this sits underneath here and this is held in by four screws that, that are capped, or at least in my case, were, were tapped into the, um, into the aluminum. Now this is a pretty interesting bracket, so I'm going to actually use this for another project, potentially even uh, in the CNC machine. I think one of the things I'm going to do is take and, and machine brackets uh, to mount this in the CNC because it's a good spring loaded if I want to do PC boards or something. Um, it's a good clamping mechanism for that. It's just, you know, kind of a waste on the laser printer. So once you remove these four screws, basically this will drop out into the bottom and then you can, as you see, you can take it out crossways as, as, I, meant, as I did here. So set that aside for a minute. <coughs> now, uh, the other piece that I did, you don't necessarily have to do this, it just made it easier. So I took this piece out, which covers the, the motor and um, uh, crossbar here for the, what would it be, Y-axis. So I just removed that. And then I removed the four screws here that hold this piece of sheet metal down. Now the pieces uh, in these screws and here, um, yeah, I ran into several cross-threaded screws. I ran into uh, several screws that were rather sharp or nuts that were rather sharp. So again, um, one of the things I've used is a pair of pliers to get under up underneath here uh, to hold it in place. Uh, one of them, I, actually this one I had to drill out because it was stripped so bad. Um, you know, it just wasn't, wasn't, couldn't get it out. So then basically this just lifts out. And now you have this, this whole big area. Now, one of the pieces that you see is here is these two brackets. Now, the interesting part is, is, is underneath, is so, so you have two screws here on each side holding this bracket in this position. And then, interestingly enough, just below, about an inch below, are another set of screws. So, one of the things that I saw on the internet that other folks did was lower this down because here's, here's what I'm going to do at least for uh, this iteration is I am going to move these down and I am going to go to Home Depot and get some screen, um, real coarse screen to put in here as a bed because one of the things uh, I'm in the process and, and I'll be posting a video on it along with this one to, to uh, uh, install air assist on this also uh, upgrade the laser pointer and there will be several videos in this series where we upgrade this thing and the idea by moving it down an inch is I want to be able to put um, three-quarter inch material in here uh, because I believe we you know can cut that and, and I've read that it can be cut with air assist it might take multiple passes but I want to be able to cut uh, heavier uh, plywood pine etc even if it takes a couple passes so um, again but to keep from the burning it, it's got to have air assist and that's what I'm in the process of also that's why you see this carriage removed uh, I'll be doing a video on that. But I just wanted to show what the bed removed and, and what we can do, what it looks like in here, and all the space you get. Because again, when you look at this, you know, you can, I mean, I, I think it opens it up to about 12 by 10 with this. And you see again back here, we've modified, I've showed a prior video, we've modified the, uh, the vent, the exhaust vent. This is working very well since we've enclosed this um, the one one challenge is you kind of see this hole down here. This hole and the hole off to the side here are the only places when this lid, when I close this lid, which which is kind of a little cockeyed and I've got to fix it. Um, again, cheap Chinese um, 
metal working. So when this is closed, that's the only place for the air to come in is actually those two holes. And, and actually with that vacuum, I'm drawing so much air, it's really having a hard time getting up. So again, I'm hoping with this uh, modified bed. Now, one of the things I am thinking about, and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do it or not, is uh, uh, light objects for about $150 has a bare bones, uh, stepper controlled Z axis bed that'll fit in here. I'm thinking about getting that. Uh, you know, the question is then how do you control the Z axis? So that's one of the, uh, you know, challenges is, you know, you have to have a separate Arduino set up and I can do that. I'm also thinking about converting the control board in here to garble. Um, so we'll have to see and if we do that it probably makes more sense to make this conversion. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyways, um, just kind of want to show off what's inside here so you kind of get an idea. Because I'm kind of documenting these processes for anybody that wants to follow. So when I do make the, the new screen bed, and I do cha change these, I'll show that. Also, um, kind of a little bit of a teaser, one of the things for mirror alignment that I've done is I've made up these new um, modules. One actually fits on, snaps over this mirror, and then one will snap over the uh, head, and then paper targets go in here for alignment. So I'll be doing a video on that, so so kind of keep an eye out for that too. I also eventually put these up on Thingiverse so you can print print out your own. Um, so okay, uh, well hopefully this has uh, shared a little insight on this um, great little device. Again, for around four or five hundred bucks, you just can't beat it. Again, safety first with it, and if this helped you out. Again, please click like below. It's free. It helps us out make more of these videos by moving them uh, up to the top, if you will, getting more exposure for the channel, which is greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe. There's going to be a lot more coming on this, as, as I said. Uh, today, I'm going to be working on, um, you know, probably finishing out the bed later. I'm going to be adding air assist here. Uh, I'm also going to be adding a laser pointing device here. So, got a lot of good stuff coming, especially if you're interested in, um, uh, you know, you know, laser cutting and that kind of stuff. From a whole fabrication point of view, we're going to have lots coming. So, again, cheers and see you in the next video.